we encourage you if if we're having uh, weather conditions that suggest that we might have a hurricane we would encourage you to evacuate even if you don't live right on the coast if you have an opportunity to evacuate that's what we encourage you to do um, there's nothing you're going to do if you stay here to make a difference you can't change anything about the size of the storm you can't stop it from damaging your home um, so the best thing you can do to prevent injury and to safeguard your you and your family is to, to leave the area go somewhere inland away from the danger zone and when the storm is over then come back home and you know clean up then uh, there's nothing you're going to be able to do if you decide to stay here if we have a hurricane you're going to be under a curfew you're not going to be able to leave your property uh, you'll be subject to arrest if you do so keeping in mind that if it takes us four or five days to get infrastructure back to a level where it's safe for the public to come back that's how long you're going to be stuck on your property if you're without electricity and without television and telephone it's going to be pretty uncomfortable so uh, the best thing you can do is when we issue evacuation orders, please heed those orders. Move inland, move to a safer location, and when things are safe, then you can return. In a hurricane, uh, you know, tornadoes, we suggest you move to the innermost part of the house. In a hurricane, uh, you know, any part of the house is subject to damage. Uh, you get a lot of wind-driven water that's going to penetrate the house. Uh, if it's strong enough to break windows, then, you know, the roof may come off next. If, if once that the outside envelope of your home is penetrated, then you're subject to lose your home. Um, you know, again, the best place to be in a hurricane is outside this area. Don't stay here.